Take a lump of clay, mix in reeds and willow twigs, pound it again and again, squeezing out air, and you've just built a rammed earth wall used for ancient defense. To make it stronger, you widen the base, forming a trapezoid for better impact resistance. Still worried about cannon fire? Cover the entire structure in brick and stone for added durability. On top, you lay a flat pathway called a horseway, so soldiers can move quickly with weapons and supplies. On the inside edge, you add a short wall. This is the parapet, protecting soldiers from falling. On the outer side, you build a defensive wall with archer slits on top for shooting and watch holes below for scouting. Now, if you build a two-story hollow tower on the wall where troops rest and store supplies below and fire arrows from above, that's a guard tower. But what if the enemy attacks suddenly? Build a signal tower nearby. By day, you raise smoke. At night, you light fire, instantly warning distant allies. For tricky mountain passes, you break the wall and surround the gap with four walls, placing gates front and back. It forms a bottleneck where one soldier can block a thousand. That's a fortress pass, great for both defense and trade. But enemies from the north are too fast and mobile. So you connect every pass and tower with walls, stretching across mountains, rivers, and deserts.